What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here and welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. So today we're going to be finishing up some things with the Corvette. Uh, you guys saw in the last video that I did the spark plugs, we cut the hole in the hood and got everything fitted up. I am going to be getting some metal just to build almost like a little shroud that goes around this just to keep this all cleaned up so it doesn't look all jagged and stuff. So we will be getting some metal today from Tractor Supply to do that. I will be painting it black to match all the other accents. But today we're gonna to be focusing on getting this back into the car. So this is the new window regulator and I have a switch right here. There's a part number for the switch in case you guys wanna know what that is. Both of these were bought off Rock Auto. I think I paid like $300 ship for both, which was a lot better than buying it from the dealer. I think the window regulator from the dealer alone was like 350 bucks. So saved a little bit of money there and it was super excited about that. So we're gonna get it put in. I have taken these doors off before. Uh, why isn't this thing not opening right now? Got the alarm going off, hold on. Not reading the key. <laughs> Come on, here we go. All right, so we're gonna pull these door panels off. These are super simple to pull off to get to this you just got to pry really hard i thought i was going to break it when i was doing it but it does uh, it's like just the way it's jammed in there you have to pry this up really hard to get the switches out and then there's two bolts right in here for the door panel to come off there i want to say t30 don't quote me on that i'm not exactly sure what they what they are offhand but i'll show you once i pull out the tools and then you just pry this door panel off and it comes right off so let's get into there and then i'll show you all the stuff on the inside that we got to take off all right guys, we got the panel off. These two bolts were a T30 Torx bit. I uh, got it right out of the blue point kit. And then it's super simple, one clip. We're gonna have to take these four bolts out. They're seven mil for the speaker to get in back and unhook the two bolts that are holding the glass in. And you just pull this back right here to get into, let's see, the other bolt right there holding the glass in right here. So you're gonna do that side, the other side, pull the glass out. Then we are gonna be able to unbolt the actual tracks that are on here. And the three bolts right here is what's holding the motor. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'm gonna start pulling this apart. If I see anything that I should mention, I'll, uh, I'll stop the camera and show you guys anything that we need to do. This part right here, again, super simple. I already had it off. You literally just have to pry the hell out of it just to get it to come off and then it's just a green clip right here Pull this bad boy out. so that's it right there and then this pops off with a couple screwdrivers to pry it off on the sides and you pop the new one in so I'm gonna do this first and then I'll get to that and show you guys what the tracks are up We got everything in there and you guys saw me try to struggle with the putting the door panel on and closing the door at the same time to index the windows so what happened was when i first put everything together and tried to use the window still nothing would work i had no power going to the switches 
the uh, seat controls or the unlock. The only thing that was working was the door switch. And reading on the forums, and no one, no one even said this, and it probably was my issue before I even changed out the window regulator, but there's a fuse for this window switch itself. It's on the left, if you open up the footwell panel, it's on the left side, it's the second one down. It's a 10 amp fuse. That one was blown and as soon as I changed it, everything started working again perfectly fine. So the window regulator probably wasn't bad because I did check, there's a second fuse for like the door switches and the unlock stuff. So there's actually two fuses and I did change the other one and I thought that was the only fuse for the window system on the driver's side, but there is a specific fuse for this right here. And I always had problems with the window on the driver's side anyway with the indexing and all that kind of stuff. It, it never really worked right. And this uh, switch right here for the passenger side was always ripped off and I would, I would pull that off randomly. So I had to change this stuff anyway, but honestly, I don't think the window regulator was bad with that fuse blown, but nothing on the forums uh, said anything about that fuse. And thankfully I found a random forum with the same same year make and model and someone have the same exact problem. So I'm gonna put everything back together. Um, one thing I did wanna note that you guys did see is the nuts that are inside of here. The one under here, you have to pull off this, um, right here, this rubber little grommet that sits right under here to block that hole. But other than that, everything's pretty straightforward. There's nothing crazy under here. These are all 10 mil bolts and it comes in and out perfectly fine. And what's very nice about this too is it's got these rubber pads that are attached to the window and it you pretty much just set it right in here. So there's no adjusting. I thought maybe I had to adjust back and forth, but I threw it in and everything worked perfectly fine. So I'm gonna put the door panel on, get all the door trim in and then we're pretty much done here and ready to drive. So I'm gonna get this done and then I'm gonna take this car and go get it cleaned up and washed. And I had to hit tractor supply before six o'clock cause I gotta get dog food and summer's here and we got a shit ton of ants. Uh, I don't understand why I have so many ants in this area, but I throw some stuff, uh, some like ant poison in the grass and some ant traps in the house and it keeps them away for the entire summer. So. Let me, uh, let me put this door panel stuff back in and I'll check in with you guys when everything's all buttoned up and finished. And I'm really excited because this is like the last thing besides getting it fit final tuned and the car is completely together and painted. So I'm gonna wash it, give you guys a walk around and uh, that'll be it for today. All right guys, so this is it. It's completely cleaned up, everything's together. This thing looks absolutely insane. It's running perfectly. I talked to John about the breaking up like right around like 3k he said he has to just adjust the fuel enrichment so everything's perfect and we're definitely gonna get it back on the dyno get everything running right but i'm super happy that there's nothing on my end that i still need to do and everything's running perfect But that's gonna wrap it up for this guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm super happy that everything's together and we're ready to be uh, get that final tune done. So if you guys got any questions whatsoever, put in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.